Well, here we are, car park north of Orton, uh, on the way uh, just off from T Bay. Um, this is the Howgills over here. I think we're going to walk somewhere around there. We'll find out in a few moments from Bernard as to where we're going to go. I think there's some weather coming today. I think it'll be, uh, it's supposed to be damp around about uh, 12, 1 o'clock, something like that. But um, we shall see. Nine of us out and we're going to walk an Orton circular. It's a scorpion walk, there's a big sting in the tail with a, a very bad uphill at the end. So, uh, I've, I've, uh, in the light of a conversation that we've just had off camera, morning Bernard as opposed to good morning. Good mo uh, morning. <laughs> so, uh, we're here, north of Orton, in the quarry, and uh, it's cold. Down. And I haven't got enough clothes, but never mind, I'll have to walk faster. And we're going to go <laughs> yeah, in this direction, easterly. Yeah. And then yeah, up here, rain. a lot of quarry work all around here sweet. and quarry roads. Have you only brought one? Probably, and I've probably got another one in there. All right. All right. Limestone country, obviously. No, don't uh, go. We come don't down go south. Yeah, if we're feeling down. up to it, we can go up to this trig point here, but we didn't we didn't do that last well, time. You know, we just came down. down here. We did see the stone circle, so we'll hopefully see that. And then across. And you've reminded me, Andrew, that from the autumn up to here it's all uphill <laughs> at the end of the war. Thanks Bernard, that's nice to know. No, 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 no. Save your chocolate bar uh, and, and uh, hopefully we'll arrive safely back. Six and a half miles maybe today. Okay, and we've no um, Mile, uh, height. We've no height. No. Okay. okay, there we go then. See. So we're off. We're off to see the wizard. Nine of us walking, and uh, north and then east, I think, is the way we're off. Very breezy, a little bit chilly because of the breeze, but there's only Peter with his legs covered, as he's already remarked. Everybody else is still in summer mode, but there's a few more fleeces out than normal. So we're puffing a bit now because uh, that's where we started, that's where the cars are, and we've just come, followed this wall up the footpath, right the way here, but lovely panorama, weather's not brilliant, as you can see, very grey, let's go out towards the borders I would think up there, and then we're just swinging around this way now and heading up towards the monument that you can see there. You can probably feel the uh, the wind or hear the wind in the mic on here. This is back over to the lakes, the eastern fells, Howgill's over the top of there. And we're now at this um, memorial cross. Which, I don't know um, how he spells <laughs> <Yes. Right -ball. laughs> uh, Don't step on the dog ship. Oh, sorry. Right. No, I'm just Thank you. Let's try and get that on for you so that tells you what this was all about. Thank you. Let's try and get that on for you so that tells you what this was all about. Where we're going, we're still following that wall down there, I think, towards the Hangills. Okay, so we've walked along the fence, we've come now to this, uh, the, the, the gap in the fence and somebody's, uh, we've got a query about this particular piece of dry stone wall in which, looking at it, I think on the other side there's an R Bond signature on it, um, but we're not too sure about that. Um, 
it, it certainly according to some members of the group does have Arbonne's uh, trademark quality of uh, um, I was going to say workmanship but I don't think that's the right word really <laughs> but um, I don't know how old it is Arbonne's piles oh, oh, oh there we go <laughs> are those like Holland's pies? <laughs> Well, back over there is uh, our memorial that we were looking at before. And we can find it on the top of there. And uh, we've been down the other side of this wall where the chaps are just coming back from. Um, and we've just done some what are called uh, BBMs, Bernard's bonus miles, as we've just come back and uh, come another route. So, weather's still hanging off, still very cloudy over the Howgills, but we're doing all right. I've just been talking to uh, Eddie, who's uh, with us today, and he's just been telling us about the history. This is a lot of. Um, limestone quarry there was a lot of limestone pavement you can just see a bit of it here that I'm standing on now and then you go over there there's a bit of an old quarry and he said these were working until the 70s there's some big lumps there a lot of it going to rockeries throughout the country there's uh, of some sort for the workers around the quarry road uh, and this is just one of many I mean we parked at a quarry car park there's a lot of stone around here it's just on the surface um, and this is part of the old limestone pavement so at the uh, at the limestone pavement that's behind me now we've Stop for 11s. We've done our bonus miles. We've been back and forward. We've uh, we've walked either side of this wall twice now, and I think we're heading that way towards the path that's the greenery bit there. Heading over there and then um, down south, I think. After that, so I had a bit of a declaration of UDI before. Tony went uh, off a wall on his own there. Um, it's a bit uh, difficult, there's some difficult map reading around here, I think. Still a lot of limestone about, as you can see. I've been looking for footpaths and stiles and gates. And trying not to cut the wall short, but uh, we've ended up going backwards and forwards a little bit. Recently, so. The sun's come out, it's warm out of the wind. The wind's making it a little chilly. And, uh, we're just at the top here and there's a limestone pavement there that you can see. And the sun just coming onto it. All the way there, all that's all the decent limestone. Right across to here. Cracking example. They're not all in uh, in the Yorkshire Dales aren't the limestone pavements. There's a lot round here. We're miles off the water, are we? Well we're finally back on track. I think we're uh, heading now southwesterly almost. Uh, along a bit of bumpy territory. The group split as you can see. Three of us at the back, Eddie in the middle, and then the rest up at the front there. But the uh, sky's coming out. It's a blue. And uh, we're out of the wind again, and it's a lovely day out of the wind. Climbing up now from the quarries. Still got the limestone pavements all round. 
lovely countryside. We're just coming up a little raise now. We seem to be following quali um, quarry tracks, a sort of horse and cart width. So I would guess that these were the tracks that the quarriers, the miners, whatever they want to call them, brought the stone by horse and cart in the first time it was being used. And now here we come. This is what I wanted to see. Lovely views, look at that. Right the way across to the lakes. Beautiful today. Absolutely spectacular. And there's the other side of that limestone pavement that we were looking at before. But it's just beautiful. Beautiful today. Here's the fells. Oh, the I'm spread it around a bit. I don't know how far we've walked, but there's our monument up there that we were at. Well, uh, oh, probably an hour ago now, uh, and we've. Uh, as somebody said, it's it's a walk that's been contrived to do miles. I think is this, but it's uh, it's nice now. Yeah. Sky's good. Blue, white, and grey. And then Jeff's leading off. So we're coming into a bit of uh, more open country now. I'm well and truly back marker. And I've just uh, stopped to get changed out of some of the clothes I was wearing. But we're obviously heading round here now contouring around this scar here and then we're probably heading down over that way towards Orton and then back up to the cars. For lunch. So we've stopped for lunch um, and this is our view for lunch. There's the um, memorial tower again. It seems to keep featuring on the top of the crest there. Um, and then over there you can just about make out the road, we think that's the road from Orton going up towards the quarry where we were, where we set off this morning. Lovely uh, views at the moment because there's plenty of sunshine and plenty of shade and cloud. Which is the town or village of Orton down the bottom here. This is the Orton Valley that we're overlooking. I think we're heading down that way and then back north for Bernard's Uphill back towards the cars which we think are somewhere up there this is just a lovely panorama of uh, the dales, the fells, I don't know what they're called what, what they are around here, whether they're part of the lakes I think the parts of the lakes to get it into the Yorkshire Dales. In my as I'm panning around be able to see cars moving, that'll be the M6. And then we're going back around to that quarry that uh, we saw before. And then back to our friend the monument on the hill. Beautiful. Okay, so on the on the map, on the OS map, and on everything else, this is described as a stone circle. Uh, as as Peter's saying now, it probably could be a bit of a hopscotch course. Actually, looking at it, um, it's a little underwhelming, shall we say? Uh, and the leader said that he'd referred to his notes on the back of his uh, previous map for this. And it said, a lot of styles. This is the first one. We're quite a way around. So there must be a lot to come. So we're heading west now, uh, down towards Orton. We've just come onto this footpath, which is directing us to Orton Church, which is the building there. 
and then this is the rest of the village here. Our leaders threatened us with uh, possibly coffee, ice creams, lollies, uh, and we did notice on the way up that there's a chocolate factory here, so I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to be spoilt for choice. Put your back. So we've got a little bit of uh, water running nicely here, just a little stream. You could just can you imagine little kids paddling in this. Just going up to a nice bridge here. Perfect for poo sticks, and I think that's what Bernard's going to play now. We're on our way now from Orton, back up towards the cars. Orton's down here, there's the Howgills in the background. Turning out to be a nice day now. And we're heading back, just that bit of wall above the green is the road that we are parking on, I think we're heading that way. So we're just going through the farmyard here, and then onwards and upwards. Just making its way somewhere as we're making our way up to the top of here having come up from the village around the bottom there and still got a splendid splendid view of the Howgill Fells lovely day it's holding off it's not long to go, so fingers crossed we'll stay dry. And it wouldn't be limestone country, I'm guessing, without an old lime kiln. Which is what this would have been. In years gone by. So here we are at the last little bit of gradient. Coming up to the road now. This is the Appleby Road, I think. That's the top here. Back to the wall where we started this morning. And then probably with a swift left turn, U-turn. Should be able to see the car park. There it is. So beautiful, lovely walk, and the weather has been generous to us. Here come the last few, led by Jeff, and then. Further down the bottom there, the leader at the back. And then the Peters are coming up here now. And Neil all making the way back on the road and the pathway. And on to the car park here. We parked this morning. And that's the end of a very, very good day. As I say, the weather's held off. It's warm now, very warm, but not in the wind. Lovely walk all round Orton. Um, I'm away for the next couple of weeks, so I don't know when I'll see you next. Please be kind to whoever takes over from me. Bye now.